Two at 10 58 at 140 for Chris Tino. We'll bring up our next pair. This is Terry Eshman, the road cone part timer on the left side, and Greg Phillips on the right hand side. Ohio represented on both sides of the racetrack as both of them close to the 860 index. Terry Eshman a little closer as he qualified number 11. So we talk about the fact that there's lots of different engine combinations, and you get to kind of see what kind of cars you can bring out. It's obviously you get a good mix of, you know, not only true street competitors, but you get some heads up racers. You get a lot of great enthusiasts, and they get a stage to operate on like this. So as you watch cars going down the racetrack, you're thinking about what immediately comes to mind. Well, I mean, this encourages, you know, your diehard heads up racers. You know, they can come over and run this. Round number two. Round number two of the Sun Ghost Performance 860 Street Race Class, as I mentioned to you previously. The way it works, it is a heads up 4 tenths pro tree. You need to get as close to that 860 index as possible. Here comes our first pair, Terry Eshman and Gavin Black. Eshman, the car he calls the road cone for Mr. P.T. Terry Eshman. The Whipple Supercharged 2016 must. Gavin Black, West Virginia, is heading right side. The whole shot goes to Gavin Black and the Cobra. Again, run at 860 as possible, and he pulls the shoot early. Terry Eshman rolls right around. 863, just three hundredths above the index. He gets around Gavin Black's 880 as Gavin dropped the parachute early and Terry Eshman will take advantage and go to the next round. You want to make sure that these cars don't go past their NHRA 850 cage limitations. Kentucky's own Jeremy King, the 1993 Mustang on the Jake side of the racetrack. He will stage up with the guy that he calls the road cone, Terry Eshman. Out of Amelia, Ohio, 2016 Mustang with the Coyote motor with a Whipple supercharger on top. He's looking for 8.60 as well. That's the number that's at the bottom of the scoreboard. They want to match that at the top of the scoreboard. Reaction time's oh so important here. It's been proven several times. Terry is staged. We get the boost loading for Jeremy, and he's in. Both of them off, clean and green. Who gets a semi-final spot? Terry Eshman, 866 at 152. Jeremy King runs into trouble and slows to a 946 at just 108. They were close at the eighth mile. Terry Eshman makes a solid run, and the road cone will go to the semi-final round. So Randy Thomas will take a supercharged Shelby to the final. Who will he face? Will it be Matt Ballard or Terry Eshman? Ballard out of Glasgow, Kentucky, right side. The 2017 Mustang GT on the Jake side of the racetrack. He was your number 10 qualifier. The number 11 qualifier, Terry Eshman. The car he calls the road cone. The 19, 2016 Mustang Coyote power plant with a Wimble on top. He's out of Amelia, Ohio. Both these drivers show they can get close to the 860 index. Question is, is who's going to go to the final? Red light for Terry Eshman. Matt Ballard was ready. 030 reaction time, and he gets a solo shot to tune up. He goes 874 and lifts to 143 miles an hour. Terry Eshman went for the whole shot and didn't find the green light. Instead, the angry red eye of defeat greeted him instead.